Hey, what's up? I'm Cantus Simmons, the academic guru, and welcome to another episode of Ask Cantus. This is my video platform where I help answer the questions of anyone who's interested in academic success, life success, and school success. Today, I have a question from a young man by the name of Pranjal Narola. Hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, you know, charge it to my head, not my heart. But the question says this. It says, hey, Cantus. He says, I'm watching your videos for many days, and I'm inspired a lot from your speeches. Cool. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. He says, but in which type of pattern should I study to achieve good grades? Please help me. You can mail me also or make a video too, please. Well, Pranjal, um, what type of pattern should I study to achieve good grades? Well, here's the, the best question I, or the best answer I have for you. Your study style is based on your learning style. Now, a few videos back, I did a few videos on learning style, but I want to reiterate that so that you understand. What is a learning style? A learning style is the best way that you learn information. Now, there are some learning styles, and what I do below this video, I give you a, uh, a little small survey to help you identify your learning style. But the first learning style is this. You have the auditory learner. The auditory learner is the person that can learn information based off of what they hear. These are individuals that can come into a class. As the teacher is talking, they're able to hear the information, mentally retain the information, and then now and know how to apply it. The second learning style is the visual learner. This is the individual that learns best by seeing. They can come to a class, look at what's written on the board, and see the information, and now they're able to retain the information. Then you have someone who's what I call the, the kinesthetic type of learner. This is the individual that likes to learn based off of touch, feel, and experience. These are the individuals that uh, like to um, work problems, like to have discussions with other individuals. They are the ones that love doing experiments. They are the ones that love breaking things down. So if you want to identify your best study style, you want to connect it with your learning style. Did you get that? If you want to understand your learning style or your study style, connect it with your learning style. So if you are an auditory learner, if you're a person that learns best and retains information best by hearing it over and over and over again, then when it's time for you to study, you study that way. Maybe you can record the lecture of your teacher. So now you're hearing it over and over and over again. Also, because you are an auditory learner, maybe it's best for you to talk about your studies. So as you're talking about it, it's coming into your ears. Or maybe for you as an auditory learner, you're having conversations with another person about that information. You're using your ears and their mouth to learn the information and repeat it back. Now, if you are a visual learner, then the best way for you to study to get good grades is by using your eyes. This may mean seeing something over and over and over again, whether it's reading a book, reviewing your notes or watching videos on how certain um, projects or certain problems are solved. The key thing with you is repetition using your eyes. Now, if you are a kinesthetic learner or a person that learns best by touching, working problems hands-on, then what you would do, maybe you need to write your notes, work a lot of problems, talk about the subject with another person, and have hands-on experience with the learning the information. So if you want to get good grades in any class, the key thing that you need to do is to understand your study style by understanding your learning style. Now, in my book, Playing Your A-Game, which you can actually get over my website at CantusSimmons.com, I go into more details on some of the do's of studying and some of the don'ts at studying. Now, regardless of who you are in your learning style, you have to put time and energy into learning the information. If that's writing your notes, going over your notes, if that's reading the book, if that's listening to a lecture, if that's reviewing tests, old tests, 
if that's getting on Google and getting on the computer and finding other tests or other teachers talk about the subject, it's up to you to make sure that you put all of the energy towards learning the information so that you know it so well that you can perform great on your test and get those good grades. So, Pranjal, thank you so much for submitting your question here to Ask Cantus. Now, if you're watching this video and you would love for me to answer your question live on this video platform, simply go to askcantus.com, enter your name and your email address, and let me know your question, and I'll get your question, and I will shoot a video just for you to help you with getting those good grades in schools. And also, if you're interested in uh, getting more material on how to uh, raise your grades, stay motivated, stay focused in school, uh, definitely go over to CantusSimmons.com. I have a lot more resources there on uh, playing your A game and doing really well in school. Well, that's all I have for you right now. I'll see you very soon with another great video here at Ask Cantus. And remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game. I'll talk to you soon.